All right, guys, so my videos have been all over the place. Um, I think we were doing the rockers last time. We were measuring, we were doing mounts. Um, this is probably the same video as that, so yeah. But anyway, we got the four plates. You can see they got a little rust on them now because it's been about a week and a half again. But we got those on. We just got to make our gussets, which we're going to work on. The first thing we got to do, though, is we're going to take them off. We're going to do pour 15 on the inside of these uh, rockers panels. That way we don't get any more rust there. And uh, then we're going to start final welding everything. I did go and get gas today for my welder. And I just want to say I have got some of the best welds I have ever done from this welder with the gas on it check those out they are beautiful so you can see this side turned out really good this side's got a tiny little bit of porosity in some of these spots where i stopped and started this metal is so thin that if i try to do a constant beat i'd only make it about an inch and then it would blow through so even with if i tried to set the voltage any lower i wasn't getting a good puddle um so yeah but anyway i started doing like dimes you know like just dots and the gas obviously still runs in the middle, but you can see these welds just look so much better than anything I've ever done. So I'm super happy about that. Even this side, this was the side I did experimenting on with the settings. And you can see, um, I mean, they're not the best on this side, obviously, but you can see, I even went across and fixed some of this. And I mean, it's just amazing. I just can't believe how good that turned out. I don't know why I didn't get gas earlier. I don't know what I was doing, but we got it now. We're good to go. There it is little 60 cube tank should last us a little while hopefully we can get all this welding done with that and i'm super happy so what we're going to do is we're going to take these i'm going to go ahead and get these rocker these inside rockers that we made off and then we are going to do our pour 15 process on the inside and then while that's drying we're going to go ahead and make the gussets for our mounts and we're going to start final welding the mounts on and then hopefully by that time the pour 15 will be dry and we can screw the inside rockers back on and start welding them up. So uh, I'll be back with you in a second. All right guys, so here's the little pour 15 kit I got. This should be enough to do this both sides. We'll probably wanna do some more stuff like the whole bottom of the truck, but this will get us started so we can get our rockers on and we can get that cab back inside. So basically there's a couple different things. There's a cleaner degreaser, easy enough. You want to Spray this on, keep it wet for 15 minutes. Um, so basically we're just gonna keep spraying it and then we're gonna rinse it off with water and let it dry. Second step is the metal prep. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this on. We're gonna keep it wet for 10 to 15 minutes and then we're gonna rinse it off with water and let it dry. The metal prep is basically an etcher. So it is going to just prepare the metal to accept the pour 15. Finally, we're gonna paint on the pour 15. That's about it. That should do us. So uh, I'm not going to bore you with the cleaner and the metal prep because there's a lot of wait time in between. But um, while we're doing that, we're going to be simultaneously making the gussets for our mounts and final welding our mounts onto our rockers. And I think welding a couple pieces of the rocker together. So we're going to do that while we're doing this, but I'm going to get this started and then we'll hit that. So now we have a nice clean line, nice uh, about a half inch pinch weld. And um, what we're gonna end up doing with that is we're gonna drill holes through this metal here like this. That way we can do spot welds from inside here. And then if we wanna get really fancy, we can weld this pinch weld together too, which I'll probably do just because I love welding now that I have the gas. So at least put some spot welds across here um, to tack these together. And um, yeah, 
that'll be it for attaching that piece to that piece. Um, now, obviously there's some rust on here. It's literally just surface rust. You can see I'm just rubbing it off. So we'll end up cleaning all that off and we're going to spray a, uh, some primer on all of this metal before we final weld it, the areas that we can't get to. That way we know that everything inside is covered and hopefully we won't get any more rust for at least a while because these cabs for these trucks are hard to find. So um, I have some more Pour 15 stuff to do now. I have to rinse off and then I have to start applying the metal prep. So we'll get back to it in a second. Oh, while we're here, you can see there's the back side of those welds on the bottom. So definitely getting good penetration. Should be good to go. All right, this is our inside rocker piece. We're going to go ahead and drill some holes in it at every about, when I say like inch and a half or so. And um, that way we can spot weld that to the piece we just took off. I'll get back to you when we're ready to do some more welding. All right, so now we got these two pieces. As you can see, I put a bunch of holes in it. We're gonna go ahead and tack all that together. All right, it is completely welded. So as you can see, I did all the spot welds across the middle, and then I ended up tacking this whole edge just so no wood or moisture can get in there at all. And uh, you can see the tack welds through this side. You can see the bead weld through this side. So yeah, this rocker panel is all good to go. We just need to get our port 15 on, and we can finish it. All right, guys, so I got all of the 415 painted on both rails. 
seems really thick seems like it was going to stick um there wasn't as much uh when you spray the metal prep it's supposed to leave like a, a gray haze on the rusted parts and stuff like that there wasn't a whole lot of that some spots there was but i don't know so hopefully the seasoned rusted metal it'll stick good and we're good to go i did everything according to the directions so hopefully we're all good there um there is some more spots that are still rusted like well this corner i cut out but you can see like right here it's all rusted kind of disgusting here we're gonna fix all those too but um that's why i left some extra on the edges of the rocker panels um so yeah that we just gotta let dry the both of the rocker arms are done they're fully welded the mounts are on everything is good to go we're perfect there um so that's going to be about it for this video because i think this is probably going to be really long now it might even be two videos i don't really know but in the next video we are going to spray the inside of our new rocker panels with some primer so they don't rust we're going to get them welded to this and then i already have the new cab mounts we're going to figure that out and hopefully get the cab sitting back on the truck so that we can start doing some funner stuff so thank you for watching thank you for watching uh like share comment subscribe if you like my channel let me know leave some comments um also i have not forgot about the thousand sub hundred sub thousand <laughs> the hundred sub giveaway I think this is the second video from there. So after I post this video, I will be picking somebody that commented V8 Dotson on that video. Um, I thought I think there's only like two or three people. So your chances are really good. Um, and I'll message you to get you your gift card. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for more Dotson content. Hopefully in a couple months, this thing will be ripping it down the drag track. And like I said, once we get the cab sitting back on, we can do funner stuff like buy turbos, exhaust manifolds, and see how stuff's going to fit. So I am getting very excited for that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.